Shooting guns and car accidents may look good on TV and in the movies, but it's no fun in real life as the Missouri State Highway Patrol investigates these types of situations every day. Tonight in part three of our special series, KQ2's Vanessa Alonso goes into these topics as part of the Troops Community Alliance program, where Vanessa even had a chance to put her shooting skills to the test. This week, I did something I never thought I would do. I shot a gun for the very first time in my life. It was a very good thing myself and many others learned to do it safely through proper training at the Missouri State Highway Patrol's Community Alliance Program. But before we get to that, let's first go through the reality of the dangers of being out on the road. We first met with Sergeant Hafe Sears of the Troop H's Major Crash Investigation Unit. He is one of four teams in the state that go through the process of reconfiguring major fatality accidents and what caused them. Through the growth of computer technology over the years and the ability to use a drone to go over an accident site, it has helped him put many cases to a close and bring closure to the victim's families. Technology is great and the more we get, it really aids us in, in analyzing these uh, wrecks and determining what happened. According to Sergeant Sears, the main contributor to the rising number of deaths and traffic crashes in the Show Me State over the last several years is distracted driving. It's something the patrol wants the public to constantly remember. Really, when you're driving highway speed, you're driving, uh, you know, over 100 100 feet per second so that that can be a big problem just to look away from the road uh, for that amount of time uh, bad things can happen in that time next we were introduced to the troops division of drug and crime control these troopers take on the responsibility of investigating criminal cases such as homicide or child abuse cases they are also in charge of giving a polygraph exam the technical name is a psychophysiological detection of deception exam um, it's basically the mind's effect on the body, on your physiology. We look at physiological responses uh, within your body and as we ask questions. Nobody is ever forced to take a polygraph examination. It is totally voluntary. Sergeant Gardner gave us a mock version off camera of how the exam is administered. The entire group was amazed on the process. Now let's get back into the shooting lesson. The team and I visited the troopers shooting range and we got a tour of it. Then we saw the various shotguns and rifles these troopers are trained on and used in every type of scenario. Then came the big moment. We all put on our safety glasses and earmuffs and we each in pairs stepped right up to give our best shot. I will admit I was a little nervous the first round, but the next three rounds went better and I made the target. All I have to say is, what an experience. Reporting from St. Joseph, I'm Vanessa Alonso, KQ2 News, your local news leader. And everybody survived. Next week in part four of her series, Vanessa and the team will have their tables turned. They'll get to play the part of a state trooper, all part of the stop and approach mock traffic stop. You won't want to miss it.